How's it going everyone? I waited until this morning to film this last bit of content for this video. We took the sheep out yesterday for their very first grazing. But the wind came up and made that audio recording a bit of a bust. And while this wind is nice for a cool down in the hot days, it certainly doesn't work with this little microphone on this camera. We don't know what to expect because the goats are with them and they are instigators. And the rain is coming in, I think. And we've been giving them some of the some of the bossy and grasses of slough here, manually harvesting, getting the systems used to it. Um, we've got everything we need, they should be ready, there's no toxic stuff here to worry about. Once we got the ram and some of the ewes moving, the rest followed in within seconds. Keeping sheep is new to us and something we have to do as part of a long-term survival plan, but they are not too different from the goats. The goats are browsers, so they will pick a few things and they prefer invasive stuff, which is nice. And they'll take a bite and they'll move on and explore. But the sheep are grazers and they will choose to camp out at some yummy spot and just focus on eating that. And for that reason, we take a more of an intensive approach to the grazing. We graze them manually so we can guide them around the felt, which is not just good for our felt management, it's also very useful to control and monitor what they are eating. Now of course there will be selective disposition and replacements within the, the flock for the first few lambings. We need to thin out the subpar producers and get the, the flock up to a point where they can produce the way they should be producing twins or, or better. Uh, the ones that don't will be moved on and sold off and the, the selling points will be decided on for every batch. At this stage we're not sure, there's various options available to us, so uh, you, you have to keep watching. In the future we'll tell you what we're doing with this and how we're going to go about it, but for now we're not really sure. The thing about Dorper is that they're so easy to work with, they're so easy to graze and since they do a little bit of browsing they also tend to eat things that other sheep varieties won't eat, sheep breeds won't eat like Merinos. Now as a cross between the Dorset Horn and the Black-Headed Persian, which is where Dorper comes from, Dorset and Persian, they have been bred for these conditions, they've been bred to be fast growing meat producing animals with uh, quite a fairly valuable skin. By giving them a bit of lucerne pellets in the crawl, they find it rewarding enough to return by themselves. Also, we do not have any water points out in the felt, so they have to return to drink water. And this makes it super simple for us to get them back into the crawl at night so we can close the gate. Well, sorry for you, Yuckles and Roy Cut. Mac, are you grazing as well? I know what you're eating, boy, you shouldn't. I want to say thanks to our Patreon friends and a happy new year, happy 2022. Um, thanks to Zach and Jacques, Kevin and Candy and Lace Cakes. Uh, you've been a, a big boost to the channel and it's nice uh, sharing stuff with you behind the scenes and the extra videos and for those of you who are on the Telegram group you get to chat a bit more so thanks for all of that. And uh, if everyone else, if you missed it, I dropped the Patreon goal for funding the Karua Cats donation. 
from 15 to 10. After visiting a nearby organization, I realized the need for funds for these people. Um, it's quite hectic what's going on out there. So when we reach 10 Patreons, I'm going to start donating a percentage to the Karua Cats Fund. That's the first fund I've chosen. I think that'll do well. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to get out of the heat now. I need to go get under our open air shower. Hopefully the water in the pipes will be cold enough to cool me down and then I need to get back to work on the new project which will be in probably the next one or two videos. Okay, cheers. See you again. Bye.